Hey guys, what is going on? Cries Designs here. Um, today's a tutorial day in uh, Cinema 4D. Um, to show you how to set up uh, V-Ray lighting and all that <coughs> for realistic renders. Um, so let's get started into our render settings. Um, of course the resolution 1280 by 720 standard. Um, <coughs> And don't mess with any of this, just come straight up here to render, change it from standard to V-Ray Bridge. Now, before you even get any further into this tutorial, you'll have to download V-Ray. <coughs> um, and you're good. So click on V-Ray Bridge down here. Um, you'll have all these icons. You want to go to um, Indirect Illumination GI. Turn the GI on by checking it. Um, go to GI presets, change it from custom to 02 IRLC very fast for print size, and you're good. And then you got your layout here. Um, V-Ray is somewhat difficult to set up. And another thing, you just can't create a standard Cinema 4D texture. Um, you have to do textures that um, are compatible with the V-Ray uh, plugin. So uh, let's get started by setting up a room. Just grab a cube. Um, I'm going to make a fairly small room. Then just uh, size it to where you want it. I'll do it there. <coughs> um, go ahead and make an object editable by pressing C or just clicking over here and uh, go to your uh, live selection tool select a side and delete come back up here to your regular mode um, then you got your room let's go ahead and move it above the grid there we go and you got your room um, most of my renders I do a window on the side but in this case, I'll just kind of make the sunlight go through the corner there, or try to at least. So, uh, <coughs> let's go ahead and set up. Well, let's get a whoops. Let's get a sphere in there, I guess. Um, shrink that down a bit. If you're unsure if it's lined up in the perspective, just come into the uh, front view and line up the bottom of the sphere with the um, cube. Alright. Alright, we got our sphere in there. Now we gotta go and set up a light. All these light options, but what we're using is infin infinite light. <coughs> and, um,. You can't just leave it like that. You're going to have to come over here to Tags. With your light object selected, go to Tags, V-Ray Bridge Tags, and V-Ray Light. Now there's a few things we're going to change in here. First off, we're going to scroll down here, Enable Shadows. Then we're going to come over here to Sunlight, turn on Physical Sun, and Physical Sky, and turn it to 70%. And then the light's done. <coughs> um, now we gotta place 
uh, our light where we want it. So we want to come over here to cameras, go down to set active object as camera, and uh, place it where we want it. And that sphere is not level. But I'm sorry, that's going to bother me. Good enough. All right, back to our light. Let's move it around here. Um, where do we want it? Um, let's do it about right here, but move it back a bit. About right there will work. All right, now we go set up our camera. Just grab a regular camera. Um, again, with the camera selected, go over to tags, V-Ray bridge tags, and V-Ray physical camera. Don't mess with any of this. Go, go ahead and go over to lens parameters. Scroll down and under film ISO change that to 300 and go down to shutter speed and change that to 600 and you're good. And then we go ahead and do camera, use camera as camera and just move the camera where we want it. Alright, there's our steery. Scroll out, scroll out. Go ahead and get the camera where you want it. I'm just going to place it like this. <clears throat> and then there's basically the whole V-Ray thing is done. The only thing that comes next is texturizing. So let's go ahead and do a render preview of this. Shouldn't take that long means it's not textured. Depending on the detail of your texturing when you paint a scene like this, uh, V-Ray doesn't take all that long, um, but once you texture it uh, really well it tends to take a little bit. Depending on your the speed of your computer or whatnot, but mine's slow as fuck so I I tend to keep my texture simple usually and uh, I really like when it's rendering get this um, thing uh, the render preview sort of um, that catchy stuff it still looks cool even like that but final render is amazing with V-Ray uh, I won't go back to regular rendering <laughs> so this is taking a little longer than I thought, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's done. Alright guys, I'm back. And as you can see, our the render is done, and it looks beautiful. Um, it looks great. And this is what V-Ray does. I mean, it makes your scenes look awesome. And if you're in, into the realistic scenes, um, whether you just make a Cinema 40 render, um, and upload it or you want to Photoshop it a bit, V-Ray is a great thing to have, especially if you're looking for that realistic stuff. Um, I keep mine basic because I'm not that advanced at modeling yet, but I'm getting there. Um, Alright, let's jump right into texturing this scene. So we're going to go ahead um, and do a texture. So, again, like I said, you can't use regular textures. It's kind of retarded, but that's just how it is. So we um, V-Ray should come with a render kit uh, full of all kinds of materials. Um, uh, um, what should we use? I'm going to use some stone, marble white, sandstone, marble black. Let's do marble black. Go ahead and drag that onto our sphere. And I don't really like to use UV mapping. I like to use cubic. Everything just turns out more smooth and clean. And since my computer is slow, the texture takes a little bit to actually load into the, um, the perspective here. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead and create another one for the cube. Um, which I use organic. Um, 
Let's see here. Fabric. We'll just use car paint. Let's do a a white room. Go ahead and drag that onto our cube. Change it to cubic. And our scene is painted. Um Um, yeah, just keep in mind, you can't use regular textures, that's a really important thing to remember. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start rendering this, and I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, here's our scene, all texturized and looking pretty. And it looks fucking amazing, so... Um, yeah, that was a quick tutorial on how to use, uh... V-Ray basics to it and whatnot. And uh I'll leave the sphere and the cube uh without color in the description for download. Just in case uh you don't want to make it yourself or whatnot. So that's a little tutorial guys. Um don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see tutorials similar to this one. See ya. <laughs>